one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We are starting with page 910 of works. And I don't know where we'll go after that. There are three sections. That so we can't have any more? Or? Um, you Why can. don't you just I, give them to her? <laughs> I don't know which sections we're doing next or in what order. So I just made a bunch of copies. Thank you. Okay, so what do we want to do for May meetings? Come on, May. What's good with you, sir? All of May is open for me. Um, I would say maybe the 8th, if that is possible. 8th and, <coughs> and 22? Yes. How does the 8th and the 22nd of May sound? But again, I'm open all Mondays. I can do any time. I won't be here on the 22nd, but I can ask someone else to cover. How are you? Can we do the 1st and 15th? I'll go forward and then bring my calendar back and then they're fine. The day before town meeting. 15th is probably town meeting. Or 1st and 8th, yeah. maybe? Um, the 8th is the night before the planning board meeting, mm -hmm. so it just like stacks them. I can do the 1st if we... What did you say? 8th is the yeah. planning board meeting? The 9th is the planning yes, board meeting, so I end up with meetings every day. Or yeah. West Bath. I don't mind doing May 1st because it seems like we're just trying to finish off the last week of the section. Is May 1st good? For committee members? Yep, it is for me. Alright, All right. let's circle May 1st. Thank you. Uh, the 8th is uh, planning board, right? The 9th is planning board. Yeah, yeah. The eighth, so the 8th is just for that. The 15th before town meeting. 29th is out. What's 22nd. wrong with it? Oh, the 29th is Memorial Day. Yeah. yeah. 22nd is still okay, isn't it? She won't be here. Oh, That's yeah. okay. I can have someone else cover. I can do the 22nd. Darling? Yeah, it's good. All right, let's go with those two days. 1 and 22. I think that should give me enough of a gap in May, so that's the last one that I should address. And Okay, before we start, though, uh, can you relay out what you think we're going to be? Uh, what's your plan? Do you have a game plan yet or too early? So, so means we have, so today I'm hoping we will finish the public services section and then I want to try and get the land use section. I forgot we had the um, transportation and the fiscal capacity section as well, but uh, that would be done on the 24th and so so which would come after the the one we were currently through so we're currently doing public facilities there is still fiscal capacity and capital investments transportation and ramps and what is in that order yes but i don't uh, when christine was asking me i for some reason thought we've already done fiscal capacity and the transportation sections so i skipped the land use I don't know where, where my head was at three hours ago. Um, but does everyone have those sections on them? I have copies that people need. Them. I have. Any or I all have of them. I had them last week. So I guess we'll go through the public facility section, and if we go through it and people are fine going to 10 or 11, then we'll do that. And then the next meeting, we'll try and finish off the sections. So hopefully this month we're done with the sections. Yes, and then I do the final touch-ups. I say final touch-ups. Yeah. I feel I say that every time. The final touch-ups, and my hope, my dream would be, what day did you say? The 22nd. Oh, I yeah. hopefully have maps and everything so that you can say, throw it to the public. That well, is throw it to the uh, town departments first. Yeah. Town departments and the, and, like, the school board. Well, well, the 22nd would be when I'm hoping I'd have all the maps and everything done. The first is when I'm hoping we're done reading through all the sections. And then I can make you up to Yeah, but I don't think we want to hand out to all those reviewers without the maps and everything in it. 
Okay. The, twice, the text refers to those things. And with that one. A final, final product. So 20 second. I hope that it's ready for the committee to move on to the uh, town and anyone else for review. And then maybe in June we can have a public hearings, Christine? That sounds like a good plan. And when, would it, when do you want to send it to the state? What's your recommendation there? Uh, uh, Before the public hearings? No, we should do the public hearing first, see if there's any major major issues from the public, and then we send it off. Okay. And we need two public hearings? I think we just need the one. Oh, so the way I do it is I do the one, and if there's a lot of, if people come out and say, oh, I don't like this, I don't like that, then we pull the second one just to say this is what the committee decided based on the comments, but if we hold a public hearing, and everyone says, yeah, it's a great plan, go ahead and pass it, then we don't need to do the second. Okay, so basically, if we, things go well, one public hearing. One public hearing. Okay. Any other things before we start? All right. So on you, sir. All right, public facilities. Before we get going on that, and I'm sorry I don't have a projector to show up, um, on page 98, the fire department call responses, I did get the updates from the fire chief that goes over the call responses for 2010 to 2020. And I'm sorry, again, I don't have a projector to show it, but what I'm going to, unless the committee asks otherwise, or says otherwise, I'm essentially reducing this chart so that it only focuses on fire calls, medical calls, and mutual aid calls. And just shows the totals of between 2010 to 2020. So, sorry, if I'll walk around and show it, but like, this is what the table would look like. Just basic four charts. Just showing the total number of call volumes for the three different categories. What are the categories again? It would just be fire, well, I, I don't see fire. No, no, no. But I'm saying you that revising it. Yeah, that whole chart you see that would be eliminated, and it would just be fire, medical, and mutual aid calls for each year from 2010 to 2020. Now we get further out. So this is what I have. Sorry, that's broken up. Get that. So this is what table four is actually. Fire, medical, and mutual aid. Yep. Unless you and want me years are across the top. Yes, unless you all want me to include specific reasons for this. You don't want car accidents? Oh. Yeah, I would think would car accidents numbers go underneath fire now? Or mm -hmm. just disappear? They just disappear. It's just fire, the medical, and mutual aid. It's just fire, medical, and mutual aid. Just Boils down to basic calls. Car accidents go under. I believe that falls under um, fire emergencies. Okay. It would probably be good to have that separated because it's not really a fire. Well, that's why I don't have to ask the committee before we go forward on that. I do have a breakdown for uh, from the fire chief. I just need to know if it's broken down any further than fire medical mutual aid. Do you have the car accident uh, statistics per year? I believe I do. But you're saying it just got rolled into fire? Right. The fire chief gave me the reports for every year, and it does break down to every single category. Yeah. But I don't know if you want me to do it by every single category, or if you would be fine with just three or four categories that capsule, uh, pretty much captures everything. Well, those I mean, darling, those three are fine, but if you break the car accidents, car accidents out as a separate category, that would be better. Because I, I think, I'm guessing he's figuring that fire is when the fire department goes. Medical would be bath and the ambulance. No, no, they respond to medical. The, the fire department also would go okay. to those. All right. If, if, if not a big deal, just, just get the car accidents. Vehicle accidents. Okay. All right. We okay with that? Yeah. All right. Okay. So starting from nine dash ten, public works. Again, we will just go through it page by page. I'll ask if anyone has any changes or notes. 
There was one that was brought up before the meeting, and this was wing, um, at the bottom of 9 dash 10, the snow piling and sanding of town and state roads as of 2022. Wing Farm is not a town road, so that is being removed. And High Street's not in West Bath? Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you have, uh, um, uh, Campbell Pond Road is really what's in West Bath. And it connects to High Street in Bath. I have Campbell's Pond Road. Yeah. I have a question. Mm -hmm. This is, that listing is particularly under snow plowing and sanding of town and state roads as of. Right. But you say Barry's Mill Road, are you suggesting the state plows it? Because we, we plow it. This is the list that I got from the town hall. It's there's, a state road that we plow. We plow all roads. our roads. This is being plowed by us. Okay. Yeah. So it, this is not, this is, when you have town and state or state, it's not who does the plowing. It's what the town, the road is labeled as. It's a state road. It's the one that the road commissioner is responsible for overseeing for the snow plowing and sanding of town and state. Right. We, okay. We plow all these. So, so that's, I just misread the point. Yeah, maybe if it says state aid road. It is a state aid road, and that's why Instead we plow. Instead of state road. It might be clearer. So, do we want to have a state aid road instead of just state? I think people know what a state road. That would be more accurate. I think that would be more accurate too. Yeah. State road. Except for the high street. Except for high street. High street's just gone. And and that state aid also applies to applies to Barry's um, Mill. Barry's Mill and Campbell Pond. Well they're they're on here. Yeah. Anything that says yeah. Let's yeah. see. Barry's Mill, Campbell's Pond. New Meadows, New Old, Meadows Brunswick. Old Brunswick Road, and State Road. I'm now making State A Road. Okay. That's and, what I was. And I'm even going to have State and Town and Sanding for Town and State A Roads. Okay. That's good. I like that. Any other changes for page 9 10? Nope. The road commissioner is um, stipend, so not full time. So however you want to, the committee wants to identify that as a stipend position. It's not exactly part-time. Um, say the points. In the first sentence on the road. Yeah, should I just say West Bass Select Board appoints the road commissioner? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Any other changes for 9-10? insert the cemeteries item. I think there's more than those. Actually, it was there's 10. Yeah, there's only... Uh, this isn't all of them. This was what I got from Leah. So Christine, you have a full list, don't you? I think there's one on the website. I do. And I, I actually have a list of all the town parcels. Well, let's, wait, 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 town on parcels or the cemeteries? But it shows the cemeteries on there. Well, let's, okay. but there's, there's more than these that okay. are there. Let's uh, just have Christine get the list of, to you next. All right. But this is the format that I was going to do where it just names the cemetery, gives the map and the lot, and that's just it. That's the basic information, just showing where it is. I assume that's... Yeah, it should be fine. Yeah. Do, do you want to put the street on here? I wouldn't do that because I know one of them is is not on the street, it's in behind somebody's residence. It's and, landlocked. Huh? Landlocked, basically. Yeah, landlocked. A lot of these on, some of the other ones are not on a road per se, they're back a ways. Right. So let's have... So I'll make a note um, that there's a note sent to this. Yep. And, uh, okay. Okay, so 9 12. 
This is where we start into the uh, solid waste and recycling. What's the blue shading all about? Is that deleted or? Um, because we keep, um, because of the recycling committee, and I feel like I keep forgetting this every time. So, the recycling committee might not be here when the contractors negotiate, correct? Or? Well, the select board really, that's the body that oversees the solid waste systems. So I wouldn't even include the recycling committee there. So I guess because the, 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 the committee wouldn't oversee the solid waste right. systems anyway. So we could just remove the two highlighted items there. We start with in June 2004, the town voted da 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 da. And then in the middle of that paragraph, that says the recycling committee is also looking into making drop off. That sentence would be deleted. Is the committee, the committee's, yeah, they're not negotiating. Right. And that's why I highlighted it, because I never know if the committee is officially still active or if it's being removed. And I well, the recycling committee is active, but it only worries about encouraging citizens to recycle and things like that. They don't have anything to do with the contracts of, okay. of the, uh, the transfer station. Okay. So... Other than those two changes, anything you want to put in the dates when they accept it. Accept the like the the, the, the drop off center accepts Saturdays and Tuesdays. Yeah, and that's down in like paragraph three. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, never mind. Okay. Yeah, that was... Is that always going to stay the same? Or do you really want to spell that out? Well, that no. yeah, we can say currently that's... that may change with the new contract. Right. Is it uh, you know the seven dollars a time right now? The tipping fee? Um, I can look up the fees. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah, right not, either, not that they've changed now since right. this was first printed. In the, in the uh, second paragraph, which is $70 time in the last sentence. Yes. We should check that and make sure it is. Cost per ton is $70. Okay. Do we I will confirm that the seven dollars is still accurate. I guess we should confirm most all these fees in here, Christine. Mm -hmm. I'll just make a general note. Yeah. It would be easy enough to do it even when we get to the point of reviewing that section yeah. internally. Yeah. That would be a good time to do it so that it's not redundant. Okay. So I'll just make a note that the town office will confirm the fees when it's out beyond the um, committee's review, correct, or where we want to have that corrected before during the review process. Okay. Anything else for nine dash twelve? And there's a max. If you want, there's a map that says cemeteries at eleven. If you go to our home page, it's under that. Okay. Under cemeteries, it's eleven. Anything else for 9 12? Going once, going twice. Moving on to 9 13. Can we need to mention Thompson in the first paragraph? Isn't that like a note to us? Oh, yeah, Thompson's budget. No, I don't know. We don't have to include that. I wouldn't think so. I think those. I think. Oh. Uh, it continues on, but I just don't see why we need to. Right. So this was about the future needs of the transfer station. And so that's why the first highlighted item is talking about renegotiating contracts so that the recycling committee would look into having more dedicated staff members for it. And the second one is talking about. No, but again, the recycling committee doesn't do that. Maybe get rid of the paragraph. Because if the recycling, because if the recycling committee is not really yeah. doing this anymore, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's not. Get rid of the yeah. paragraph. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. So moving on. And the next highlighted paragraph was talking about expanding the town's recycling.
and services at the drop-off center to include da 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 da. Should we just say recycling committee or should we just say the town is seeking? The town. Simple thing. In the paragraph above it, maybe give a second. Um yes. The it says we can deposit for free and it says stoves and refrigerators. You absolutely cannot. They charge you for that. I think then once again, I, I agree, this should be gone over uh, with the town office somebody because all these things at the cycle center. We'll go over it with Cassell and that yeah. we will have the most accurate information. In what is currently being accepted to be recycled versus what was. I'm sure that's changed too. There's a pricing sheet by Cassell on the website. Okay. Yeah, can also, we could also just note references to that and include them into the appendix. So the town will be reviewing this section pretty much. Yeah. Uh, and that pair, highlighted paragraphs in the town recycling committee. Oh, I'm just removing the recycling committee and just saying the town is doing this and the town is doing that. Yep, that sounds good. Uh, Refrigerators are $45. And then for the last paragraph, there's one last one talking about and recycling committee. Delete it. Delete recycling committee. Yeah. But I figured it was going to happen. <laughs> Anything else on page 9 13? It does say below why you have to pay for a certain thing, so maybe it just needs to be. It should say refer to the pricing list on, yeah. the, on the town website. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put any pricing in there because we are renegotiating our contract with them. This year. Which, wait, hold on, which page? The, Still 913, which paragraph? Max, the second from the last one, it talks about having to pay for bulky household waste. So maybe just um, in the first paragraph after the word recycling, get rid of that hand white goods, such as stoves and refrigerators, free on removed, because those are definitely not free. Okay. They never have been. Okay. And you say a price list is available on the town website for household items? Not covered in recyclable. <coughs> I think if you if you put what she just said, it's covered in the town website. That's that will apply for Ever. the next ten years. Forever. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. As opposed to quoting what what, what it is today. I agree. So we're talking about the second to last paragraph, the other bulky household waste such as mattresses can be disposed of and getting rid of that sentence. And I'm just replacing it with a sentence that says to find out the prices, go to refer to the refer to the, the waste management fee schedule. On the town website. On the town website. I wouldn't even say Casella, because if they're not here in ten years, it's just the waste management fee schedule. Okay. So is that fine with everyone that that sentence is replaced with residents can refer to the waste management fee schedule on the town mm -hmm. website? Yeah. Okay. Any more changes on 9-13? Is this the last paragraph? Is this is this from the old top plan? Because uh, some of this seems like it might not be true think so. Well, yeah. The, um, Inclusion of the 2004 talks about when the whole recycling committee did all this stuff. I thought it was nice to at least leave that in because that is giving some historical background on all that, but uh, it's up to the committee. I like including some history of this stuff. For instance, uh, maybe the sentence, while sometimes have adopted this model, many, many ended up repealing the measure due to an increase in illegal dumping. Hold on. Halfway through the last paragraph. Halfway through the last paragraph. Okay, yes. 2004, we didn't have a study recycling committee. Yeah. And here we also want to list here that we have two hazardous waste materials available to have one in Brunswick and one in Bath, fall and spring. Let's mm -hmm. the Well, it, we, yeah, so I see where you're talking about. Paragraph. Yeah, I see where you are with the page you go. Um, yeah. The 2004 item that uh, was just mentioned, that wasn't the last comp plan, so I don't know why someone said 2004 when the recycling committee wasn't there at the time. But 
Yeah, I just included that part talking about the pay as you throw because that's what happened. Well, what would have to be dropped from where it says in 2004, the rest of it? Just get rid of the rest of that paragraph? Yes. Yeah, well, that's fine. Is everyone else fine with that? Yes. And was there, there's a there's a spray and fall hazardous waste material. Is that in wait, is that already in our comp? Is that a new thing? I, it's new. That's new, isn't it, Christine? It's not new. We don't always participate. Um, but we generally work with the city of Bath in the spring and the town of Brunswick in the fall for hazardous waste. waste. I thought we already got the hazardous waste. It seemed like that was in some other it mentioned it, but I don't think it mentioned. But it, it, it was somewhere else. It really ought to be mentioned here, I think. Yeah, I agree. Um, you know, I don't know. Well, then, it's not every year, so I don't work that. We have a, then yeah. maybe it should go in the second paragraph of 9-14. Under trends? Yes. Yep. Utilizing regional resources. Yeah. And there, there's a set, the last sentence about solid waste disposal, so. You just say we, we have a collaborative effort with Bath in the spring and Brunswick in the fall for hazardous material. Yeah. Town's a collaborative effort with Bath and Brunswick to remove with Bath them. in the spring and Brunswick in the fall for oh. hazardous material. Brunswick. With removal? Drop off? To remove Drop hazardous. Off. Drop off, yeah. We don't come get it yet. If, if but, but as Christine says, not every year do the oh. town. If we have the budget, we participate because it does cost the town a certain amount of money. But I, I think it's. Better than having someone dump it where they shouldn't. Okay. Um, <laughs> also, also a 914. Yep. Hill Road. The, <laughs> under trends? Yes. The second paragraph, should that be here? The West Bath utilizes regional resources? Yeah. Under this section of solid waste and recycle? Oh, no, because we're now under trends. I know, but I mean, Let's talk about regional allocation versus local. Right. The, the trend sections now just say, in general, uh, almost a summary of what we've gone over for the last 13 pages, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And the road picture doesn't address the solid waste. Because everything. That's a piece of that sentence. Yeah, but the trends is now supposed to say that's just the listing. Yeah, right? I see that. The services yeah. that yeah. Yeah. everything that's or happened trends. from nine one to nine thirteen is more background back information, back. and trends is now just saying just a reminder. This is everything we've done. The school systems are in it. I mean, no. Emergency services, local schools. I mean, if you want, we could probably just and move it up. Well, no, no. We could move some of the trans items to the front if that's what some people would like. Or I could probably just like make trans do more I think this whole thing is not I guess to clarify the movie's own section. Hmm? To clarify movie's own section. That trans is separate from this all yeah. yeah. So I'll just capitalize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you capitalize all. Make it more of a title for it. Okay. Is there anything else on 9 14? And I do have the inclusion on the second paragraph just talking about the collaborative efforts to address the drop off for hazardous materials. And under the public outreach tables, I included the not applicable section, the table two, which is the Results without being not applicable to show where that split would not be. It's 
So table nine dash one. That's what we originally had when right. we got the results. And then what I was told from the committee was, can we see what the results would be if you took out the not? The, the ratios are the same if you look at uh, yes versus no in each each of the tables, basically. I so I would get rid of table nine dash one and just use the nine dash two. And obviously change the title just to say public outreach results. Yeah. Why why not include the non applicable? I I just think it confuses the issue. Because somebody you if they didn't do use the patent treat like tells you what percentage doesn't use the library or doesn't use the Yeah, but it's about, you know, you look at the ratio of uh, the table nine two, ninety one to eight is just about same ratio as the yes no in the first table. Can you see a big difference when it looks at schools or public recreation or the library? And those are the only ones really. It's still mm -hmm. schools, the ratio is nine, almost 9 to 1 in the first section, and it's 9 to 1 in the second section, too. Mm -hmm. So I just think it's less confusing. I do too, because you know, first of all, just saying NA. In this in this presentation, doesn't really tell me what the survey asked them. What is, the I, survey said you have a chance to say I'm not aware or I don't I'm not uh, I can't answer because I'm not informed of that. Or you didn't so, use it. So like you didn't use the emergency um, services. So Paul, you're, you're saying just to have nine two. Yeah, relabel nine two and, nine one. And relabel it. And yeah. So, in that case, I'll also amend the paragraph that takes place right before it because the last sentence says, if a resident did not believe they were familiar enough with the service, they would respond yeah. with NA. So, at this point, I'm going to go with. I'm going to remove that and say, well, I guess I'm just going to resume that. Yeah. And, we'll remove the paragraph. and does the committee agree with 9 2? I agree with that. Okay. Sure. All right, we'll go that way. I mean, if the ratios are much different, yeah. then you wouldn't. We both in probably. Okay. All right. So nine two will now be nine one, and uh, yeah. our title's going to change. So that's just public outreach results. That's cool. That's a good okay. Moving along. Nine dash. Oh. Any other changes for nine dash fourteen? Nine Moving on to 9-15. Moving on to 9-15. I don't think I had any changes on this one. Max, why in the first paragraph, like half the way down the right hand side, is, why is in spread out like hyphenated? Is that a thing? That yeah, I, that was a that must have been a Microsoft correction. Okay. Oh, that's why. No, it, it wasn't a correction from Microsoft. Um, it just had that's a strike through that for some reason still there. So it's oh. yeah, they're separate words. Oh, all right. Yeah. Where, where are you? This is the first <laughs> halfway down the first paragraph. Too scary. Oh. Yeah. When it was struck out, it's I guess. Just a weird stop time. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, the strike through option was left on on that. For some reason. Weird. Any other changes to nine dash fifteen? That hopefully don't involve that cross out. Yes. 
That, that's, that, I don't, that's so that's continuing from 9 15. 15. The full sentence is any expansion of public water or sewer systems will require outside funding to minimize the cost of contributions from a significant element. Um, but I think you could just say the cost of a significant element. Minimize the cost from a significant element. I don't know. I don't know what contributions are. Well, that's a, I believe if you're in a, a live commercial something going in, the, that owner or that company will contribute, right? They would put into the system if they want it. Okay, so it's okay? I think so. Right. Yeah, it does read right here, and I'm with you. Yeah. I'm fine just saying the cost for me, uh, to minimize the cost. Well, unless you did. Private contributions. If they want it. it says gross and commercial and residential proposals. Is that projects or third sentence? Third sentence. Top paragraph, third sentence. Um, starts in a second. West Bath is still witness growth in commercial and residential proposals on a smaller scale. Yeah, areas on a small scale. Should be commercial and residential areas on a small scale. struggling with that last sentence, but I guess it's okay. I, to me, it's a, a bedroom community for people from above, abundant communities, but yeah, why would you developers and employees, I don't, that just, I, I said developers just for, that's what someone would, if someone is deciding, oh, where do I build this thing for employees? Consider here, but I'm fine just saying as well as bedroom community for employees and abiding community, communities. Why not just people? People, period, or people in abiding? People in abiding communities. People instead of developers and employees. Is everyone fine with that, Jane? You literally just want to stop a sentence and sign up to get rid of from as well on. Well, it says as well as a bit of community, get rid of that whole. And just make a period. Make a period of yourself. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah. Is everyone fine with that, Jane? Yeah. Sure. Yes. Okay. I don't know about everyone, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with that one. Oh, right. Okay. And then we get to education and. Again, I can't really do anything on the yellow changes because that's something I need to get from the, the school. <laughs> that's a lot of yellow. So, so clarify that those numbers in the yellow are not accurate, or they have are the ones came from the school. Those are not accurate. Those are, I think, still from your previous complaint. So you need you need to correct the update. Yep. Which but only in the yellow, that is the accurate amount for the school budget. Yep. It's yep. just the yellow that's not accurate. Yep. And why is it 2020-2021 instead of like the most recent? Because we were working on this last year and that's that was probably the most accurate number I had, but Should it would now it? it will now be 2022 to 2024. Okay. 2022-2024. 20, 20, uh 2022 <laughs> Like, we watch it. The 
beyond the yellow highlighted items, is there anything in the 916? Yes. Um, the paragraph between the last two yellows, mm -hmm. we once again are talking about school choice, and I think it's important to state that it's a limited school choice policy. No. Across the board, any parent can't send their kids anywhere they want and have us pay the tuition because we have an obligation to RSU 1 for 75 students. Yeah. For 75%. 75% of our students will go to RSU 1. Can and you it's only up the numbers above that that have school choice. Right. Can you just say in the first sentence, adopt, adopted a limited school choice policy or something like that? Was limited the word that we used the last time this yes, came it up? Was. It was limited? Yes. Yeah, but like, is the document called, isn't the document called school choice policy? No. No? Okay. Well, if it is, it's, it's a mistake. Well, that may be the official title that the school uses, we don't know. So, right. If it is, it probably needs some quotes or something. So, the West Bass School Administrative Unit adopted a limited school choice policy. Which expires. We don't get involved with that. Wait, that, okay. That's the next 10 years. So we're not even involved with that this one. But we don't know what it's going to be, so you don't have it in there. So, okay. So that's what the sentence is going to be. Uh, for you to it. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, I, I want to hear this. I want to get this note done first before we talk on a different topic. So it is the West Beth School Administration to adopt a limited school choice policy, which permits, and the rest of it's continuing on. And then mm -hmm. I'm adding another sentence to explain the difference on the 75% cost, or is that covered a little bit down where it says under the school, under the policy, I guess I'll say. West Bath will only provide a shared tuition cost that is equal to a student attending RSU 1. Is that sentence fine that covers what you're talking about, or do you need more specifics? You can say 75-25. I want to just quickly hear the thought on that. Sorry for getting Is it important to it's explain not, how it works? It's not by default. It's 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 an allocation of twenty five no more than twenty five percent that can go to another. I don't think we need to, I don't think we need to get involved too much on the 75, 25 percent. No, this it's is just state that it's yeah, limited. It's it's limited. Just, just, too much detail. Make it simple. Yeah. Okay. Keep and it I'm, simple. And I'm just and am I just saying? Limited school choice policy throughout this entire paragraph. I think if you say it once, it should, it should carry through. through. But it's only for grades six through twelve. Yes, and that which permits to select for the children. That's what you said. Six through twelve. twelve. It says six through twelve, right there. Cool. That, yeah, second line, and that's what the policy is, correct? Correct. Okay. But but the. Junior and senior high school students that most will be going, 75% of them at least, will be going to. Right. right. I, don't want to I don't want the percentage in there, but, but so. No, that's. I think that's fine the way it's written. Okay. 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 Um, was there anything else on 9 16? Well, I guess the rest was the highlight paragraph. So then we get to 917, which is a lot of yellow. <laughs> and we really need to school me in on that. Well, does anyone want to argue about West Bath providing a quality education of children? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think the important thing is for the school to read through this and mm -hmm. get that yeah, back. Yeah. Okay. And then the final page doesn't really have any changes from your last comp plan. This is the cultural resources item.
changes for 9-18? Are we missing a building? There's the West Bath Meeting House and then there's the oh, Little Field, Field School, School, right? Which first sentence. First, it's, yeah, it's technically the second sentence. Okay, including the Old West Bath Meeting House and Old Green Ball? Yeah, there's a little, little Field School. But Is the town involved in the Grange? I don't know. No, I don't think not so. involved in the Grange. It should be the school, yeah, it's not the Grange. Okay. Yeah, the Grange is its own thing. And the Littlefield School. Littlefield School. It's Littlefield is like one word, just as it sounds. Yeah. It's not a big field. It's a little field. So Old Grange Hall is replaced with Littlefield School. Yeah. Right. Excuse me. I will not have talking in the audience during my class. <laughs> That was the last topic. <laughs> okay. Well, long since about school. Or I guess we're in the cultural session. She's getting me in trouble. <laughs> I'm, only hearing it. I'm only hearing excuses over there. <laughs> See, that was my complaint in, in kindergarten as well. <laughs> Anything else <clears throat> for 9 18? Eighteen going once, going twice. Sounds like we are done. I just have one question. Oh. I do. So on table nine one. One more. Oh. Just, just, just hear me out for one second, and then oh. just, just. Okay. Wait. I, before, before we get, I'm sorry. Okay. Before we get to that, was, there wasn't any issue with nine dash eighteen, correct? Okay. And I know it says I like saying the word. not applicable, but I think if we remove the, the NA column, the results change dramatically. That 92% of the people did not say yes to emergency services. When you had 27% of them that said not applicable, those values change dramatically when you put them all into the, just those two columns. And I think it's important that you show people in the case of 27% of people maybe didn't use emergency services, but right there when you take it out, it says 92% of the people were happy with it. And I think that's a false statement based upon the NA results in the survey. I, I, I just leave, think we're not. I, I, I leave it to the committee. What's the committee say? I think we voted to go with 92. But I don't Why? think. I'm, I'm saying right now. I'm on the fence. I don't care. I don't even think 20 people will read this book. Yeah. I'm going to say, so, what's the committee say? Nine, one, and just 9 2? That's what you said. Well, I'm going to bring it up with the select board now. Then, so. No, this is not the select board's call. This committee yeah. is doing this. Yes. The committee is doing this. But I, we don't have input? No. No. Not right now, you don't. But afterwards? As a member of the public, you can't have a public hearing or, or a public, public comment. As far as voting on this plan, we vote on the plan. We were told shows by the board of selectmen to do this. We have one of the votes in this. So once again, I will stay with nine, just nine two as a, as a committee. Yes. All right. I have another thought to promote peace. <laughs> Eliminate nine two instead of nine one. Correct. Just stay with nine one. Period. That just says yes. The survey results. No. No. Sure, more information is always better than not information as long as it's not completely confusing. Well, I don't think it's real clear, but um, it does, it is more information. Thoughts? I could accept that, taking 9 1 as, the t as it was written, as the, the one soul chart. Soul chart. Yeah, eliminate. One of these charts had to go. Johnny? I'm fine with 9 1 only instead of 9 2. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Doesn't make much difference. This one should go. For sure. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> one is going, the one that's going is 9 2. <laughs> right. right. That's correct. The second one is getting deleted. You delete 9 2, you stay with 9 1. 
and you better go back and replace that. And I'm keeping the original sense the residents yeah. did not believe they were familiar enough with the service, they would respond with time. Yes. Got it? You have next section. Thank you, Paul. So 9-1. Nine, one, so nine, one, Which one are we doing next, Max? About the facility? Um, does every boy on the same time, can I give you all of them? Um, no, I've got yeah. Does anyone else need the section? All the other sections we're going to. Uh, do people have um, section 10 fiscal capacity with them? Right. No, I have it. She's got it. We have all, it. Have all of them. Okay. Then how about we do section 10? Just go and work. Paul, you need any blood in there? Okay. I have a problem. And I have a problem. And I have a changes. Oh, that's nine. Oops. Oh, that's fine. I got it. I had that at 11. We just do it. Okay, thank you. Okay. I think. All right, section 10, fiscal capacity and capital investment. Okay. So 10-1 is going to be updated for 
uh, when it's ready for a public review. And then. And should there be like something for 2021 and 2022 also? Yeah, well, that's that's the common thing with throughout the comp plan. Where am I just doing the tenure, and when am I doing the last two years as well? Because we could probably get the taxable valuation for 21 and 22. We have the, the first, the last, and the first page is in the period ending in 2033. Mm -hmm. So you should in theory end and your that, chart at 2023. Does anyone have a problem with adding one and two in there? For table 10-1? I think it's better that way. Because otherwise you're missing the last two years. So I'll put the last two years. 2021, 2022. Okay. So for table 10-2 then, you'd exactly. want to set the tax rate in column 3 uh, at 2022, right? Yes. You'll have to get everybody else's tax rates again. That's actually easier than it sounds. <laughs> okay. Um, so it's current. Yeah, so it would be it would be a twelve year period instead of ten. Okay. So my one question on that is how do you want me to do the change then? The change comp. Same way. Do you want me to include ten or to start at twelve? No, I'm I start at 10. Start at 10 and go, well, go to 22 and have the change column the same way. So yeah. people can do their own math. Maybe, so do you want me to keep the 2020 column or just make that the 2022 column? Make it 2022. Okay. 20. Okay. Estimated numbers from American 
American Community Survey, or I'm just going to use 2010 all the way up until 2020. So that's the that's one of the reasons I didn't like the per capita cost item. I'm either going to be using an estimated population, or I'm going to be using um, just 2010s numbers throughout the whole time. I remember right, our population hasn't changed very much. Yeah, it hasn't. Last since 2010. Yeah, it was about you 30 census. person. It was about 30 people. 33 30 30 people. 30 people. <laughs> you remember that exact number? I do. Over, in over 10 years, too. Yeah, over the 10-year growth rate of 33 people. How much more <clears throat> is the capital number, though? It's three people a year. Give or take. Three uh, people three. 33 people. Probably not too much of the cost. Total cost of government hasn't been changing that often. Well, well we have to spell out that we're using that one number, right? Assuming that it's 2010 throughout the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, probably. Or you can put at the bottom the population in 2010 versus the population in 2020. Someone clarified. So it went up by 33 people, and then it. I could also just like make an assumption mm -hmm. that, you know, it's a 10 year period, it went up by 33 people, so let's just say three people were added each year. Or Something like that. And then it's going to be a dollar or two difference in the number. Yeah. And I think either way is fine as long as you clarify yes. why the numbers are there. It just seemed like it would be interesting, since you're using per capita, to know what the population was in 2010 and then the population again in the 2020 census. People may not know what it is. Just to kind of stick that in there as an extra sentence. Okay. An extra number. A, a, foot, bottom, a, footnote, the a footnote at the bottom of the table, yes, thank you. Right. That's and what I, I was trying to say. I have a question about the numbers, though. I mean, 2010 number was 2.3 million total cost of government. That was my question, too. Then 2.75. Then 2016 is 1.9. Yeah, no, this is why I was I was getting lost in the but and the. And then Tom reports. 18 and 19 went from 3 to 2.6. I think this. The I think some, some years it's just the municipal budget, and some years it's the school budget. I think some years not to buy. I think we just not, need not to have this table. 2016 That's, was the school year, wasn't it? 2015, I thought, was. When you're saying the school year, year, you're talking about when the school, the school choice budget. happened. When we took over the school from the RSU1. I think 2000, I think 2015, because. That comes up in the future uh, tables. It's nine years. According, one year left, yeah. According to Keith Hines, this is a nine year. It's been that long? Okay. Yeah. So, so, so the problem is we... Those numbers look... Yeah, no, I'm just... That was RSE one I'm, Yeah, so I'm fine leaving the table. I would just need to be shown directly where I will find that exact number. Because when I'm trying to go through the town reports, I'm, I'm getting it all over the place. Is that something you could... Clarify? Yeah, I think we can dig up the information. All right. Unfortunately, the same patterns weren't followed throughout the years with the town reports. So yeah. Max is seeing some different information in the way it's presented. Yeah. But some of the treasurer's reports it must have been. You've got to get total cost of government. Yeah. School and municipal side. Okay. Right. One, would think, one would think that would be advancing every year. Okay. <laughs> well, and then go ahead and drop down. Okay, and and next. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Yep. Well, actually, once we look, drop down, I think it's the so, school. So 10-3 and 10-4 will be updated to um, address those damn issues. Then we'll move on to page 10-4. Um, mm -hmm. Page 10 4, yeah. That starts with table 10 5. The table numbers are the same at this point. Uh, <laughs> table 10 5. I'll go by table at this point. <laughs> table 10 5. 2010, I just need to get that tax revenue information from the town report because, again, just couldn't find it. But 2015 is what I believe was when the um, school, school vote was happening. And I was told to get that information in for the expenditure um, tables, just to show that difference. So I just need 2010, but I do have 2015 and 2020 numbers. Those were the outcome, at least. 
Okay. Uh, and just for 2015, I have the blue line just to separate the rows, but I guess it's also a way of highlighting the, um, the school day goal. I just, I just have it to separate the two items. I didn't know if people would like that or not. Max, if you're going to highlight the school takeover, maybe like an asterisk at the bottom saying that this was, this was the year that we took the school away from the RSU1. Withdrew from the RSU1. Withdrew from the RSU1. Withdrew from RSU1, which is highlighted. Yeah, that will just be an amendment to the bottom of that page. The year selects were meant to show the 10-year difference, as well as budget expenditures during the initial year. Bathroom, West Bath withdrew from RS, well, it will now say withdrew from RSU1, which is highlighted in blue. But that was 2013 that they withdrew. Was or it? 12. Well, it was 12. I thought I saw in 2012. the time of the Okay. It's 10 years next year completes the 10th year, which is 3-4. Well, that's that. We can, we can look at the right. facial rate instead of just look it up. Make sure that's in your time report. And then 10-6, uh, it was, I know what the 2020 numbers were, but I didn't want to guess on 2010, 2015 with everything that was happening in the previous charts. But that will be corrected. Okay. But there was this unclassified expenses, abatement on taxes. Is that all still relevant? Or am I getting rid of that little asterisk? Because I don't see where it even falls into any of these charts anymore. Well, we may, we may have abatement on taxes again this year because of the reval. Okay. Right? But possibly. I mean, if that's, I'm guessing that's when that caused that. All right, then I can leave that. So now we move on to page 10-5, not table, page. Uh, I don't think there was any updates to this one because debt services, I'm just saying it's zero dollars. Yeah, I mean, that section would look fine. And then- I, I actually have a problem with that section. The last sentence, what's in the paragraph, and after, well, first of all, you started a pick up parentheses where you started the parentheses. Example take up a debt of 25% of the operating budget <laughs> oh. at a very favorable interest rate. I don't think they exist today. I'm sorry, take out the, so take out the parentheses. Well, the parentheses and everything after the first. Put a period at the end of expenditure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I agree. It's not the truth. <laughs> All right. I'm just seeing that I let them get this in there. And I have, so, another, I have another deletion on that page. Um, I just have one quick one. I have one quick one before you do that. Uh, at the bottom of it, under high cost capital projects, it's one, two, three, four, I think the fourth sentence from the bottom, an array of devices may be employed by the town to meet its debt obligations. Um, there is reference to TIF program, and I'm removing it because we're removing all references. Well, that's what my, that was mine. Yep. Deletion suggestion. <coughs> Period after obligations. Okay. All right. Uh, period after obligations. Right. So we're getting rid of these include impact fees from developers, private fundraising. You're getting, you want to get rid of all of that? Oh, no. No, just. I think we get rid of all of that. Yeah. My only suggestion was okay. to get rid of your right. tip. You're right. You're right. Forget the period. Because we could always ask for impact fees. And... Right. Yes. Okay. Anything else for 10 5?
Yeah. I do low cost projects. Yes. Hundred thousand dollars. Mm -hmm. Usually, uh, you mentioned the new fire engine. A new fire engine. Oh. Um, not. Yeah. <laughs> Expensive. That's really in the high cost. That's, that's in the high cost projects. Maybe a new roof kind of thing, or a new septic system. If you're looking, a new septic system. If you're looking yeah. for something to go in there, it's like a roof, yeah. so a school, or the low cost capital projects. How about we just say up to hundred thousand dollars? Usually for capital items, that can be saved up without having the town borrow money or borrow money. Yeah. So no example. Yeah. Like no example. Buy. Yep. Because apparently it uh, dates the comp plan when you add an example like that. These the other one too. The old one. And you could get a fire truck for a hundred thousand. If it's a good one, that's a we bought one for six hundred thousand. <laughs> All right. Any other changes for ten dash five? I like how quiet we'll get once I say that. <laughs> All right. Going once. Going twice. Moving on to ten dash six. We go through the capital investment plan table. And yes, if there's any changes to table 10 7. Yeah, it does go on to the next page. Oh, projects. OK. 
can be considered as an approval by town meeting.
Are people flying cars in the transportation section? That's five pages. Yes. Yeah. We're going to make that. Better. We can do, oh, that. We can do that. And then. Yeah, I think I gave you one. Okay. No. Transportation. You hear that? Yeah. No. Now we just need one. I think transportation is one of our more. I think transportation is actually pretty easy. I mean, cut and dry. Yep. Alright, here we go. Transportation, less than 30 minutes. Like the average commute time. <laughs> First paragraph. Yep. Uh, come down lines one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Over there in the middle of that fifth line where it starts with West Bath mm -hmm. as a coastal community, I think that sentence should be deleted. The whole sentence? Yeah, it doesn't make any, it's, it's ancient history. Yeah. West Bath is a coastal community originally had residents rely on water and transportation. That's 1800s. Yeah. Yeah, you, you oh, before. Yeah. yeah. That sense along with the road and bridges the last no. sense. No, I am not deleting that. I'm just deleting the the West Bath. The sentence yeah. that starts the West Bath. Okay. And ends at communities. Now, okay, so last sentence, we'll probably just need a quick change then, because it's kind of tied into that one. So, Pleasant Bridges on the Ocean Line and the State Road have shifted. Um, required diligent monitoring. Oh, yeah, I didn't set pick up on that, but it shifted that reliance. So, I think I can just get rid of have shifted that reliance. So, it just says roads and bridges on the US Route 1 and State Road require diligent monitoring of their conditions to guarantee safe travel. Work. Yes. I like it. I like it. Um, anything else for 11-1? Oh, in the third paragraph. Mm -hmm. uh, when you're talking about, you mentioned Wing Farm Parkway. I think you can read the oh. that part of it out. So just serve as principal commercial arterial arterials in West Bath. Yes, period. period. Everyone fine with that? Yeah, because it's not actually Wing Farm Parkway that is the access. Yeah. It's the other road which is called something else, and I don't know what that is. Yeah. Okay. Good point. I I wondered why when you had Foster Point, but the last sentence on that same paragraph. Where you had Foster Point Road, Barry's Mill Road, Campbell Pond Road function as internal arterials, arterials for the movement of general traffic throughout West Bath. Why is that New Meadows Road also listed in that list? It's up top. It's the principal commercial one. It's on the commercial. Right. The first part of the paragraph. Oh. oh. Yeah, that. That should be. Yeah, it's. They're just saying the number of, it's um, just the number of traffic that goes through each of those roads. Okay. Other changes for 11-1. We plow about what? 30, 28 miles of road? Yeah, 27 and we plow. Yes, yeah, but that's not 56. Right. Total miles would be more than what we plow, but not, not 56. Way. Not way. Yeah, we don't plow state road. Oh, as far as those roads. The towns are responsible right. for 56, and they're not responsible for 56 miles. They're responsible for 27 miles. Because pub travel. Oh, so Christine is trying to say. Christine is and Christine, you'll Christine, you can, you know, I can talk find about that number. Right. Yeah, so there's like three of them in there. There's the 16 for the roadways that are state aid, there's 56.3 for roads, and then 13.9 for private. It's like three different numbers to check, right? 
I think it's the 16 and 13 ring. Uh, 56.3 has to be corrected. Yeah, something out there. Okay. Other changes for 11-1? Same paragraph where it says the common reasons for residents felt that road maintenance was not adequate was the maintenance and snow plowing. First okay, specific maintenance roads. and snow plowing. First specific roads, yeah. That's, I thought the maintenance was the bigger issue, but the no, that was just the people I just said snow okay. plowing maintenance, or they would say both. Okay. Oh, okay. Do we know whether they were? Town roads or private roads that they talked about? Probably not, because you can't tell in the survey, right? Right, it was just people said, I feel the roads just aren't properly allowed or whatnot. So there's going to be an appendix A with all the road names? Uh, yes. Okay. And it's a list that I was given by. Anything else for 11-1? Moving on to 11-2. Urban Compact Municipalities doesn't really change at all. Are we one of those? Mm -hmm. No. So why? But, I, we have it because you're surrounded by both Brunswick and Bath, which are considered Urban Compact Municipalities. Oh. But you don't really say it right. No, it doesn't. Down matter. here in the the third, well, I'm the, the the last paragraph under urban compact heading, the third line from the bottom where you say West Bath is should be to, leads to to state is defined. adjacent to to state defined urban compact communities is adjacent to two state defined urban compact municipalities. And you know what, Max, I would actually even suggest moving that sentence right underneath your heading of urban compact municipalities before you start into all the other explanations of what they are. Just move that whole paragraph, maybe? No, just that sentence. Just start out with um, West Bath is adjacent to two state-defined urban compact municipalities, Brunswick and Bath. Well, what it actually and then throw in the, according to the DOT, urban compact is growing. Yeah, I, yeah, that makes sense. I think it would have to be uh, the last two sentences where it's West Bath is not designated as an urban urban compact municipality, and then also all that you just said along with the last sentence, these areas generate high traffic volumes on State Road U.S. Route One, New Madrid Road, and West Bath, because that that was kind of the reason for having tying them together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Say. All right, so you start up with the first and that would be back. the first sentence, or first sentences, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, so right underneath urban compact municipalities, like its own little paragraph, maybe, before yep. you get into the description of what it is. Yep. So, the section, this bit of the section will start with, West Bath is not designated as an urban compact municipality, dot, 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 dot. All right. Good. Okay. Thank you. Um, anything else for 11 2? Don't think the access management section or the off street, well, access management doesn't change at all because it's required. Yeah. Spells it out. <coughs> and then off street parking. Uh, just mentioned that there's no downtown area, so there's no need for the dedicated off street parking. And the only off street parking available is up to the rock the landing. I'm right on that, right? That's the only public landing that has the. Yeah. Okay. Good view. Good job. Finally, after all these months, <laughs> I got it right. Um, all right. Okay. Anything on? Is there anything on 11 3? I've got a question.
question. Mm -hmm. And uh, under the bridge inventory paragraph. Yep. Three bridges on Old Brunswick Road. Is that? What, what is Old Brunswick Road? Uh, way up north. Way over. The last one north. <coughs> no. Furthest north. From Green Acres, that north. corner to Brunswick. Okay. It's the old Bath Road headed towards Bath. It's the old Brunswick Road headed to Brunswick. But no matter what, it's still an old road. Is, is, is Old Brunswick the right name or is it Old Bath Road? It's, I think, believe now they call it either one. <laughs> Whatever the state calls it, I guess we'll go with the state has to call it. That's, that's trivial, really. Yeah. I have a question down the last section. Yep, the annual average daily traffic. Yeah, the fourth bullet. Yep. New Meadows Road north of Bath Road. Yes. Can you tell me where that is? There is nothing. The oh. Do we mean New Meadows Road north of State Road? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's State Road. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think what happened was it's just from the DOT's stuff, so they said Bath Road. Yeah. And they're fine if it's just changing to that. You don't want to be down there. Right? Also, um, the last paragraph there. Mm -hmm. About the online mapping tools to provide vehicular crash, crash information. And then it uh, has the number of accidents. Mm -hmm. Is that going to appear someplace else? Do we that need to be there? Um, I don't think the crashes are mentioned anywhere else. And they should go to 2022 from the fire department. Oh yeah, I guess there is the fire department crashes. Yeah. So are you suggesting removing the crash numbers or? Oh, the paragraph, Paul. Oh. I guess I guess it was more about the last sentence. Intersections or road segments with high, with recurring high numbers of accidents should be studied and improved. That already happened, didn't it? With the uh, with the state road and Cross uh, Point Road yeah, intersection. Yeah, there. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sure. We're looking also. They're starting one right now, going into um, the transfer station. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Well, so, there, so there's other ones that are in there. No. Some no changes? No changes. Okay. Except for I would take the, the fire department to 2022 and add those accidents. Okay. It may not be the same number though, because the fire department does not respond to all accidents. But these are the West Bath accidents. Yeah, but the fire department does, does not respond, respond to all, to all West Bath accidents. No. If they're minor with nothing going on, they don't call uh, this the fire department. Okay. So my adding. 21 and 22 for between 2010 and 2020. Am I adding the years 2021 and 2022 for the number of accidents? If you can get the number. He has it. Well, well hold on. No. Yes, these these are numbers DOT, are DOT, right? Right. These are DOT numbers. There's a difference. I would add whatever matches these numbers. If you can add DOT. If I can get DOT. DOT numbers. So there was a fatality. And I guess we'll change the next paragraph too. Just in 2022, yeah. I don't want to get up, dang it. All right. Numbers changed. Correct those numbers as well, so include 2021, 2022. Well, it, this, the second paragraph, the last sentence, mm -hmm. best pass you can, it sounds like we don't communicate. <laughs> uh, yeah. I don't think we need.
community that says? To continue to communicate. I don't know if you say that, because we, we do that anyhow with any kind of state aid road. The UT would, you know, it just, I don't know, it's, it doesn't seem necessary to me, but. I agree. All right. But what I do think needs to be written in here, mm -hmm. because we keep talking about the intersection of New Meadows Road and US 1, mm -hmm. and intersection of New Meadows Road, Foster Point, and State Road. Mm -hmm. um, Well, first of all, New Meadows Road doesn't intersect with US-1. It's a bridge over it. It's... We have exits and... Hmm? We have exit ramps and on-ramps, right? Yeah, that's yeah. referring to an on-or-off-ramp. Because on they there. do connect with yeah. the ramps. Okay. And Actually, both of those ramps are named, or, or intersections are named there. What was the fourth one? Is second. So, uh, off of ramp C. Yeah. It's the other 